All right, so today let's let's do a video on how the oil system works on an LS engine, Vortec, whatever you want to call it. Uh, how the oil flows, where it goes, why it goes, all of that jazz. Because I get tons of questions and I see all kind of comments on these forums and people are just making stuff up. So let's get into it. All right, so in the front, the oil pump feeds the block here. The oil turns 90 degrees to this channel and this main oil gallery goes all the way to the rear of the block. And from there, that's where the magic happens. So let's go to the back of the block. So the oil comes down this channel and it stops right here. And it stops right here because of the barbell. Let me grab one. Let me put a barbell up here, make this make sense. All right, here's our barbell. Oil comes down the channel, gets to here, stops. Goes, goes up through the filter, back down, back into focus, back into this side, and then it goes into this main tube right here and comes out here. All right. So if you look, so, so this main body will be filled and you can see the galleries on both sides going down all the way down the lifter bores that feed the lifters. And then you see right here, this tube, and that's what feeds the mains. And then if you look in here, the drill breaks out and there's the oil hole how the cam gets oil. So if you blocked this off, matter of fact, if you blocked this whole channel off and had no oil going to the mains, rods, or the cam, your lifters would still get oil. Now your motor wouldn't run long, but as long as the pump was turning, lifters would get oil. So here is why if you leave the barbell out, why you don't have any oil pressure. So the oil would just come straight down the galley and puke out right here into the rear cover. So you would just essentially just be circulating oil. Nothing would be going anywhere other than right back in the pan. So um, also cam bearing clearance is critical because oil wants to take the path of least resistance. So if you got, you know, extraordinary bearing clearance on the cam well it's hitting the cam before it's hitting the mains and the rods so all the oil's going to puke out here instead of going to the rods so and, and we see all the time especially in these aluminum blocks that you know bearing clearance be five six thousand sometimes and they make undersized bearings to, to help correct that issue so <clears throat> so that's how it oils and I, you know, I just like to say, I just see so many weird explanations when people's having problems and, you know, these guys on Facebook are telling them, you know, oh, this, that, and other thing. And I mean, they just making stuff up because they don't understand how to, how the system works. And just like we've seen it before, you know, people, their, their engine actually has oil pressure, but they say the gauge doesn't show anything. And, and this is the port here that sends the oil to the sensor and we've seen that clogged up with carbon and crap so you know if you don't have any oil coming out at the top you know it's possible that that's plugged up and then if we go back around here at the front when we're talking about the oil circulating through the lifter bodies you know on the back of your thrust plate you got a, a o-ring and that seals this channel because the oil's coming out you know it's coming in one side well it's actually coming in both sides because it's open back there too but both sides are equalized and pressurized. And that's why it's always, we always put a new plate on because you can't buy that O-ring by itself. It just comes with the plate. And so you always want to make sure that this is sealed because if you have a leak here, then, you know, it's, it's, it's the whole system is, is down because the leak is absorbing the volume. And so we don't, you know, we don't want to do that. So anyway, Hopefully that helps explain how the oil system works and clears up uh, some obvious confusion. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you.